the parking lot. What for? To put my stuff in the car. Going someplace? Uh-huh. Where? My grandma's. Going on a plane? Uh-huh. An F-214 Turbo Tiger fighter jet, I think. That's what it was last time, anyway. Oh, really? Yeah. They only let me fly for about half an hour, though. I suppose they let you fire the rockets, too. Only in hyperspace. Yeah, right. Hey, wait a minute. What? There's not enough postage on these rockets. Huh? Return to sender. I gotta go. We're gonna be late for the plane. Too bad you can't take my plane. Huh? Oh, you didn't know? I'm gonna be an airline pilot when I grow up. As if you can even fly a kite. Another great idea from the I'm So Sure Files. Oh yeah? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Captain Stacy Stickler speaking. In preparation for a landing at Stacy Stickler International Airport, please return your seat to an uptight position. Ah! Ow! And don't forget to fasten your seatbelts! Jill, what are you doing here? Duh, I'm demonstrating! You just fasten this thing by inserting the metal tab into the buckle, like this. And to release it, you'll just pull in front of the buckle like this. Could somebody please turn down the air conditioning in here? Prepare for takeoff. Ahem. Aren't we getting a little ahead of ourselves, Captain Stickler? Huh? Who are you supposed to be? I'm Harold Examiner from the International Aviation and Wicked Uniforms Administration, and according to my flight log, you haven't passed your pilot's test yet. There's a test? Of course there's a test. And first, you have to go to about a zillion years of school, too. Skip the school. Just give me the test. I'll use my woman's intermission. Okay. First question. You're flying along, minding your own business. That makes one of us. When you encounter a bunch of unexpected turbulence. Unexpected turbines? Did someone say turbines? Not turbines, turbulence. Real mature, Bradley. <laughs> under control. Uh -huh. Well then, let's move on to the tough part. Which is? The passengers are hungry. We want food! 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 Leave me out of peanut pockets! Please! I'm getting a little impatient here! No sweat. This just calls for a little distraction. We want food! On the left side of the aircraft, you'll notice a spectacular view of Mount Pula Pula. I'm airsick. Where's the barf bag? I'm gonna hurt. <gasps> ha ha, bake. Real mature, Bradley. I <laughs> Hmm, molten lava all over the plane. Well, you did it. Me? No problem. We'll just take a little peek. <laughs> and on your right, you'll notice a majestic view of Niagara Falls. <laughs> a superwash of Mr. Waxy, please. Okay, okay, but... Oh man. Not only are our lives in ultimate danger, they busted the antenna. So much for those unexpected turbines. Did someone say? <laughs> okay, you pass. Told you so. That part. Now, on to section 36B. What's that? An attack by <laughs> international terrorists. <laughs> Engine number three. Captain Stickler.
Hitler. They're hijacking the plane. They want us to land in a foreign country. Which one? Both of them. Which country? Wyoming. Wyoming? Wyoming? What? Wyoming's not a country. It's town. Wyoming, home of the Grand Tetons and Devil's Tower Natural Monument. Wyoming it is. Stacy, you're not supposed to just give in. Got a plan B, B-Man. Oh, yeah, right. Hey, you, terrorists! What? what? On the way to Wyoming, you guys mind if we stop off at Mr. Gristle? <laughs> Negotiating with terrorists? Very interesting. Who's negotiating? This is a secret weapon. Huh? You'll see. <laughs> what? <laughs> I have a list of demands from a really smelly gang of international terrorists. <laughs> Two double gut bombs with onions and extra soaker sauce. <laughs> No thanks, we're kinda in a hurry. Never hijack a plane on an empty tummy, I always say. Yeah. Maybe so, but what about the hostages? We're still hungry, we're still hungry, we're still hungry, we're still hungry, we're still hungry. We're still hungry. We're still hungry. Or a pile of pretzels are these? Perhaps a piece of pecan pie. Just put it on a plate and pass it Ooh. over here. Maybe a pair of peaches or a piece of pear. I'd settle for a plastic pear full of pickles at that point. Looks like a job for my trusty flight attendant. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Potato chips. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we'll be making a water landing. Remember that the nearest wiener dog will make oh. an excellent flotation device. Oh, man. <laughs> Frank, don't move. Atta boy, Frank. Hold still. Frank! <laughs> Mr. Examiner, Frank? Ah! Uh, we gotta put this thing on the ground! Still, you don't know how to fly it! Details, details! Besides, how hard could it be? Uh, hey, I think I'm getting the hang of it! Guess I passed the test, huh? I guess so. Thought so. Warning! Warning! Russell's been in the lavatory ever since they finished their gut bombs! Mayday! Mayday! Air traffic control! We're going down! Oh, I forgot to tell you! What? The air traffic control has to take a nap after lunch. Okay, Mr. Smart Examiner, you do it. What are you doing? We're gonna be runway putty. You gotta land this thing. What do you say? Come on, Stacy. Uh, uh, uh. Say it, Bradley. Okay, okay. Please. Please what? Please, Captain Stacy. Please, Captain Stacy what? Captain Stacy, the greatest airline pilot that ever was in the history of all time everything. And? And I never should have doubted your totally awesome superior abilities. Keep going. And you got a better grade on the math quiz than I did. I'm still listening. And your sneakers smell like a field of fresh flowers. What about my beautiful singing voice which brings joy and happiness to children all over the world? That too. Okay. Time to switch over to Auto Frank. Uh huh.
Welcome to Stacy Stickler International Airport, ladies and gentlemen. Have a safe walk home. Next time, I'm taking the train. information. What's that thing? His waddle. His waddle? Oh, that's right. What will they think of next? Shouldn't you be working on your own Thanksgiving project? I did mine already. I'm thankful for... Nostrils. <laughs> the lag boogers grow down from the top of the cavern, whilst the lag boogers grow up from the floor. Duh, think about it. Without him, when we sneeze, everything would come out our ears. Ah, ah, Get ah, away, Bradley. Ah. You're just trying to gross me out. I also said I was thankful that cactuses don't have legs. That's a dorky thing to be thankful for. Think about it. If they had legs, they could move, right? Yeah. So, what's your point? <laughs> I think you just got my point. Figures you'd be thankful for totally dumb stuff, Bradley. Okay. What you put that's so brilliant? Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen. I, I Stacy Stickler, Stickler, am thankful, thankful for... for. You're thankful for feedback? Be quiet, Bradley. Bradley. I'm thankful for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Couldn't think of anything, huh? Stop being such a turkey, Bradley. <laughs> I'm truly <laughs> thankful for Thanksgiving because my mom is the best cook in the world. <laughs> and she makes the best Thanksgiving dinner in the solar system. And Thanksgiving dinner is my most favorite meal in the universe. <laughs> and not only that, Mom let me invite Dad over, so this will be the most thankfulest Thanksgiving ever. The end. Thank you. That's it? Yeah, it is, for your big fat information. Nobody makes a better Thanksgiving dinner than my mom. And with Dad there, this year's gonna be... Don't say it. The best one ever. Uh... What's your problem, Bradley? You've jinxed it. Your Thanksgiving Day plans are about to be sucked. I'm afraid I have some bad news for you, Stacy, honey. Bad news? I just found out I have to work on Thanksgiving. I'm sorry, sweetie. I won't be able to make our turkey dinner. Torpedo! But, Mom! Now, don't you worry, Pumpkin. I get worse. I'll cook Thanksgiving dinner. Dad's gonna cook? Won't that be fun? Told ya. Maybe it'll be all right. I mean, Maybe Dad can cook a decent Thanksgiving dinner without it turning into a disaster. Sure, Stace. Sure. Hi, guys. Just fixing a little leak in the kitchen tap before I get started on Thanksgiving dinner. Hey, Mr. Stickler. I see you've been tidying up. Yep. Nothing's too good for my Stacy's favorite dinner. Now, let's see. Yams, cranberry sauce, stuffing, turkey. We haven't got any of this stuff. Great, Dad. We've still got lots to be thankful for, Stace. Like what? <sighs> Weenie beans! Stacy, where are you going? To Mr. Quickie's to get a turkey sandwich. I thought she liked weenie beans. 
Sigh. We used to be just like that. I don't like to say I told you so. Who are you kidding, Bradley? You love to say I told you so. Oh, yeah, right. Told ya. <gasps> you jinxed it. It didn't have a hope as soon as you said it was going to be the best one ever. Best whatever. The best Thanksgiving ever, Mr. Dodler. I bet you were there at the very first Thanksgiving, weren't you, Mr. D? Darn the tootin'. Of course, back then, we didn't get our turkeys from the corner store. And he was a mite bigger in them days, too. Turkey dactyls, huh, Mr. D? If you say so. Anyways, they made quite a meal. We had turkey dactyl sandwiches till March. I feel compelled to advise you that Mr. Dollar's fancy hotel is entirely apocryphal. A what -a He made it up. Says who? My CD Rhyme Interactive Encyclopedia, Mr. D. Well, you tell Mr. CD what's his name to mind his own beeswax. <laughs> the first Thanksgiving was a celebration of the bounty of the first harvest, when the pilgrims sat down with the native peoples and celebrated all they had to be thankful for. Oh, that Thanksgiving. I didn't know they'd asked for the documentary version. And that's why, on this day, we give thanks for the abundant good fortune that surrounds us as we sit down to a traditional feast with family and friends. Thanks for reminding me. Why so glum, Miss Stacy? I'm about to have the very worst Thanksgiving ever. Oh, now, I'm sure it can't be that bad. Her mom has to work, and her dad is cooking Thanksgiving dinner. Mr. Stickler is cooking? Oh, good thing I had that bomb shelter put in back in 42. Maybe we should just skip Thanksgiving dinner this year, Dad. I'm okay. Just having a bit of trouble with the glaze for the candied yams. That's it, fellas. Just let yourselves in. Come on, Bradley. Weren't we on our way to Mr. Quickie's? Look at this! Everyone in the entire world is having a perfect Thanksgiving. But not me. Oh, no. My mom has to work. And Dad is working on some kind of mutant Thanksgiving meal. Hey, cool! Alien Thanksgiving! Don't say it, Bradley. With the aliens from Uranus! Try the Squadlish. <laughs> Oops, my mistake. That was one of the guests. Cut it out, Bradley. This isn't funny. I was just trying to cheer you up. All I want is a turkey sandwich from Mr. Quickies, and I'll be fine, okay? <gasps> Closed? I can't even be thankful for a turkey sandwich. Now do you see why I'm thankful for easy stuff, like nostrils and legless cactuses? It always comes true. I refuse to believe that's all we have to be thankful for. There must be something else. Hi, kids. Just about ready to stop the turkey. Just as soon as we take care of that nasty gravy spill. This way, fellas! Then again, maybe this is as good as it gets. Ladies and gentlemen, I, Stacy Stickler, have absolutely nothing to be thankful for. The end. What about the turkey? Huh? You can be thankful you're not him. He's not gonna make it past Thanksgiving. <laughs> okay, that's one. And how about Russell? What about Russell? Well, aren't you thankful you're not him? What? What you got there, Russell? Quit looking. Back off, Scradley. Me and Russell is going to a big Thanksgiving dinner. What's the world coming to when I've got less to be thankful for than Russell? What could be worse? Hi, guys! You asked? I'm going to stop myself with turkey and yams and cranberry sauce and gravy and pumpkin pie and mashed potatoes and stuffing and... Did I say pumpkin pie? In the true spirit of the original Thanksgiving, we're celebrating our good fortune by bringing traditional vegetables of the harvest to our table. Diría que esto debe ser lo mejor día de Thanksgiving que hemos tenido, pero no quiero que caiga nada mal. 
everyone is having a wonderful Thanksgiving dinner, and I'm going to get weenie beans on toast. Burnt toast. Thanks a lot, Bradley. Stacy, hurry up. You don't want everything to get cold. Guess I gotta go in and pretend I'm enjoying it. Atta girl, Stace. You can do it. For your dad. Surprise! I borrowed a few things. And a few friends. Smells good for a change. What? Could you please pass the mashed potatoes, Mr. Dodler? <laughs> Beats passion a kidney stone. Me gustaría dar gracias por este pata de pavo. Por favor. Que gracia que hay dos patos. Pass the apps, please, and the potato, and the pocket pie, and the parsley. Still think nostrils and legless cactuses are number one? Nah, I never did. I was just trying to make you feel better. Dad? Stacy? Pass the weenie beans, please. 